Went to grab a ratchet strap the other day, and here's what I had, a big tangled mess. So as I was picking them apart, wrapping them up, I thought, okay, what can we do to prevent this from happening again? And it seemed like the best option might be to create a little box to put them in. Something with some dividers in it, one for each strap, so they wouldn't get all tangled up. So I went ahead and measured the uh, size of the strap, and scribbled some notes on a legal pad, and then sat down at the computer to see what we'd come up with. I went ahead and opened up SketchUp, pretty suited for this particular task, and uh, began by just drawing that volume of one strap, making copies of the strap. I'm thinking four is probably the right number to do here. And then uh, from that, we get the overall volume that we're going to have to enclose. So then we start with the bottom, lay it in, uh, put some color on it, flip it upright, put the ends on, put the dividers on the thing, and uh, went ahead and copied those dividers up, dropped them into the base to mark out where the uh, slots are going to have to go to put those guys in, and then put it all together. Uh, I think the best kind of situation is to have a lid that flips up, and so I went ahead and cut the ends in half, showing about where we're going to have that divider, and then the long halves, and then flip the lid open and get a look at it just to kind of see what that thing looks like rotated around see does it sort of feel like it's the right size and um, so the next step then really is to go ahead and create a parts list a uh, big thank you for Clark Bremer for creating timber frame rubies which I've got loaded on the sketch up there it extends it and allows you to manage parts lists and build shop drawings a pretty convenient little tool right there so um, for that to work correctly, you've got to verify that you've got all your components, and they're all named, and so that way you can get that list put together. Uh, and look, here comes the mystery helper. So uh, after everything's ready to go, when print the drawings and check, and make sure you have uh, everything we need. So here we've got the top and the bottom, long sides, the ends, and then the dividers. So we're going to head out in the shop and see what we come up with. First order of business is to get those plans spread out. Think about a cut list. So we've got uh, some some boards that I would cut, really leftover stuff from milling that I'm going to use for this uh, to pick something that would fit in terms of the width. And and uh, so I found a couple pieces that would work and uh, adjust the cut list for the, the material at hand. Make the first cut, second cut. So that's kind of got it down to length. I started looking at the one board that was pretty twisted. So I went ahead and cut it into the individual component lengths to have a better chance of getting it flat when I went and planed it. As you can see from the ends here, it's, uh, it's pretty poor. So I went ahead and start the planer up and uh, run a few passes through. You see the chips coming off there, and then you can kind of get a feel for, again, how warped and cupped that stuff is. So you got the, cut, the uh, rough cut marks there in the middle, and it's starting to smooth up a little bit. There's some shavings on the finished product looking pretty good. Uh, one of the pieces was, was wide enough that I could go ahead and make the top and bottom, so I didn't rip that. And the edge was a little bit rough from the uh, rough cut. So I trimmed that up a little bit, and then uh, ready to cut the length. Oh, and just about forgot, got the divider, so I went ahead and got a quarter inch piece. Uh, I went ahead and ripped that down to size, and there's all the pieces there on the saw ready to go. So next step is to get the uh, grooves put in, put a dado blade in there, set the depth set the width and there we go ready to assemble uh, it's a quick project doesn't have to be pretty so when it's stapled it together uh, of course with some glue under the staples and then start putting the hardware on the thing so we got some hinges uh, hasps and handle and we're good to go no more tangled up ratchet straps